I gave her some sharp ass collarbones because she is a queen, which has nothing to do with collarbones. Hi. I like Disney princesses, but you know what I like better? Villains. I just think that sometimes the princesses are a bit too bubbly and like a bit too energetic and it'd be nice if they were just um, a little bit darker sometimes. I'm just personally all about the doom and gloom, about giving up on life. So today I'm going to convert some Disney princesses into their villain counterparts as I imagine it. I'm going to go for some of the ones that are my personal favourite and the ones that have a bit of power, like Rapunzel. She has her magic hair, although she cuts it off by the end. Alright, there is my reference image for Rapunzel. She can live up there. See, the way that I imagined Tangled going was that because Rapunzel has been sheltered in this tower for like her entire childhood, I thought that maybe she would grow up to have, you know, extreme paranoia when it comes to the outside world and social anxiety. So instead of being this little bubbly, energetic, curious thing. She's just really socially inept. Alright, so I've made a sketch of Rapunzel. We have her iconic frying pan as a weapon of choice. Um, little Pascal who is looking like a little demon gremlin thing. And she actually does not look quite as scared. She needs to look absolutely paranoid, like hysterical. Like, how did you get in here? No, that's like she was like that the first time when when Flynn Ryder got into the tower, you know? Remember how paranoid she was? If only she kept that up, and if only she was more scared, not curious about it, I think she'd be quite a good villain. Like, she just, she just absolutely knocks out. Like, she can do a lot of damage with that frying pan. She just absolutely demolishes anyone who comes near the tower, and then the tower becomes cursed. Cool, I'm just gonna rub out some of these sketch lines that I've made. Alright, I'm gonna start colouring now. Hmm. I'm gonna borrow these colours, don't mind if I do. No little stripes here. And her bloody long hair. I actually love drawing hair, it's one of my favourite things. It's just so relaxing and therapeutic and stuff. And I think the background will just be bookshelves. Alright, I'm gonna set the layer to multiply and do some really simple shading. I plan to make it quite like the background quite dark and really focus on her expression because I think that's important here. These in the back are curtains. Oh, I have an idea. What if she has dark circles from not being able to sleep at night because she's so paranoid that someone might break into the tower and steal her hair or something? <laughs> All right, I'm going to add a tinge of blue. Imagine being Flynn just like climbing into this tower and then this is the first thing you see. Just a girl and her immense hair. What? Alright. I increased the size of it so we can see her beautiful paranoid eyes. I think I want to show some movement in the hair, so I'm gonna try and blur some parts of it. Or maybe I should try smudging it. Oh no, Pascal! <laughs> okay, a little less. In the back too, perhaps? Yeah. Without blur, with blur, without with, yeah. I'm the. Uh, I'm just using my own hand as reference. <gasps> I didn't even save yet. Right. Um. For these next few minutes, I realized that my mic wasn't even plugged in because I'm a fool and I was just talking into an unplugged mic. Uh. But the gist is, I changed the lighting for Rapunzel to make it a bit more dramatic, so you can imagine the scene. Right. You're an adventurer. You discover the, the the dark looming tower, you break in and it's dark apart from these few rays of light and suddenly you just see this this tangled mess of hair and, and a girl wrapped inside. She'd be like a cryptid, a legend of sorts. Uh, next is Elsa and you can see here that I'm still talking into an un unplugged mic like an idiot. I thought that Elsa would actually be pretty similar to her normal self for a villain. Because I think it would have been really, really easy for her to become the villain of the story. I mean, she would have if it wasn't for her sister, right, who came to save her at her breaking point. Her face is too round, it looks like a potato. Uh, I know why I'm having trouble, it's because she's looking downwards. And I 
kind of suck at drawing faces with a bit of perspective. I want to give her like a ton of makeup, blue lips and everything. Oh yeah. What color should her eyelashes be? I could make them white. Let it go fam. Let it go. If you look, she already has some pretty thick makeup. So I'm gonna make it thicker. Oh god, I don't even do makeup in real life. I don't know why I'm trying to draw makeup. Does that look right? Ah, oh, she just looks ill. They're off. Her eyes are off. Needs to come down a tad. I don't know why I always suffer instead of just copying and pasting things. Gonna be shadows here. Should I add a tinge of blue? Nice. I gave her some sharp ass collarbones because she is a queen, which has nothing to do with collarbones. Look at him, poor soul, he's absolutely petrified. Not a huge fan of the lighting to be honest. It's alright, but it's kind of flat. Oh yeah, that looks so much better. And I think maybe the background can just be like some vaguely blurry icicle shape things. And some extra lighting. Yeah, she is evil, but she's still a princess and I think she needs some sparkle sparkle. Let there be light. But not too much. Alright, evil Elsa is finished. Her eyes still look a bit off, but whatever. Maybe in this timeline, she has a wonky eye, okay? I don't care. I don't. The lonely ice queen, Elsa. She ran away during her let it go escapade. She built her own castle. Maybe took in the stray soldier and turned them into statues for company. She's super lonely inside, but... She copes with this pretty unhealthily by being the ice villain. Okay, so we have the paranoid princess and the lonely ice queen. Next is Moana. Alright, Moana's a funny one because she she was just born one day and the sea chose her. Like, she didn't inherit anything. There wasn't any reason for her being chosen, she just was. And then she decided to go chase that specialty and she was like, Bye, I'm going to the sea. You know, she in the movie, she went to the sea to essentially save the island and its people. Like, she went out for a good purpose, right? And the sea helped her and stuff. The waves, they carried her. But I was thinking, what if she was just kind of crazy? I think maybe instead of going out to be a hero, maybe she just went out just because she wanted to and she has the sea on her side. And the ocean is what? Like 70% of the world? So she had an incredible force by her side and she is possibly the most dangerous villain out there because she has so much power. Like 70% of the world does what she wants and she also does what she wants, which happens to be very unpredictable. Okay, her face is very round and then her hair goes like this. I have a reference here. And she has some really nice muscles. I'm gonna try and do them justice. I may fail. And the hair's gonna be wee, wee. And I low-key want to make her f her face as deranged and manic as possible. Oh yeah, boy. Alright, looking good, looking good. This one is a bit of a challenge because I'm, well, perspective and dynamic, which I'm famously bad at and my light just turned off. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh. Come on. That doesn't... <sighs> just gonna borrow some colours from her, yoink. I always really liked Moana as a movie, because I also really like the ocean. And I always liked the fact that, like, she didn't just wait around for a prince to come help her. She just kind of went out and did her own thing. Okay, she's looking quite insane and deranged, we love that. And then the ocean, which is blue. Alright, I'm not going to make it too saturated, because again, I want her to pop, not the colour of the sea. And there's like some foam here, some foam and some spraying water where the board is going. And a bunch of spray round about there. Perfect. Time to merge. Now everything is on one layer. Just how I like it. Ooh, can I be asked to draw all these details? Okay, there's a line here. The top is actually scalloped, so it goes like that. And I think that's about as far as I'll manage for the top. And her skirt is actually layered, and it's straw-ish, straw-coloured. Gonna add some blue for reflection, because she's on the ocean, you know? On her legs too. 
She got some mad muscles right there. Not that I can really draw muscles properly. I'm gonna have to learn that. But for now, that's probably the best I can do. And she sort of has these holes in her skirt. I guess I'll put those in. I bet Moana has some serious abs. She is a strong woman. Okay, so her necklace is brown with white beads. Oh my god, I'm such a lazy painter. Like, I just don't get rid of sketch lines and stuff. I just paint over them. Hell yeah, she's having fun. I'm so bad at finishing touches. Like, I just don't know when a piece is finished. Do you know what I mean? It's really hard. I guess her nose needs a shadow. It's her and the sea by themselves, surfing away from responsibility and laughing like a maniac while doing so. All right. All right, for my fourth and final stop, I'm going to do Merida, which is great. I love Merida. I think Brave is such a underrated Disney film. And it's great because it's Scottish, which means that everything is automatically funny. Have you ever met a Scottish person? Hilarious. So out of the four, I think Merida would be the most sane, um, the most confident in her values, in her opinion, the one who regards herself most realistically, because I think she would be the type of villain who would do anything for her family, which is the reason why she became the villain. All right, I'm going to I'm going to draw her really cool. I have a reference by the way. Um the dress is going to be like whisha and her bow is going to be like down here. She's got quite a round head. In fact, she has somehow got a rounder face than Moana who is already very round. Going to steal these colors, yoink. Man. Ooh, I love red hair. What should the background be? Like in the forest? There's going to be some trees and stuff and some light coming through the trees and stuff. This is my reference by the way. I think that potentially the dark needs to be darker. Her face is super round so I guess the shading is also going to be super round. Ooh, it's quite pretty. I always think that red hair against a cool background can't go wrong. I actually love ginger hair. I think it's the most gorgeous thing. Mother Nature decided to give everyone, you know, pretty but kind of blandish colours and then bam she just shovels a load of saturation and colour into this one gene and then we all bully them for it. Why do we do that guys? You know it's only been about 20 minutes since I've started drawing this. I think my capability for drawing faster is slowly but surely growing but I don't really know what to do from here. You know what that means? Time to merge all the layers and draw on one. Of course you don't have to do this, it's just something I do when I feel a bit stuck because I start getting, like, I'm not that bright, so I tend to get stuck navigating all the layers and stuff, um, which is why I merge all of them when there's some basic shading, when her eyes are green, right? Oh no, they're blue. Okay. Should she be smiling or not? No, she's serious. And her ear is a bit skewed. It should not be there. Where should it be? Um, I'm not entirely sure. I think it should be around about there, right? I don't, I don't know. Can you even see her ears? No. It's just covered by her hair. Okay, I'm not gonna draw her ears. Yeah, that's fine. And this part's gonna be warm again. I just realized that her eyebrows are gonna be red because she has red hair. That's so cool. What if I tilt it? I could try that. Oh yeah, I think the tilted version is a lot more interesting. Now to add the highlights. Oh man, that hair was so fun to draw. Gonna add some sparkle sparkle because, you know, she is a princess after all, but not too much because she is a villain now. And I think I'll call it there for Merida. What should we call her? Merida the Protector. All right, so we have Rapunzel, the paranoid princess, Elsa, the lonely ice queen, Moana, the wild ride, and Merida, the protector. Which one is your favorite? I think mine is probably Elsa. Uh, I just like the way that I managed to do her hair and makeup, and it was just kind of super satisfying. That's all for this week. I hope you had fun. I had fun. I hope this video made sense, because I just kind of assumed that everyone's watched these vid uh, these films. If you haven't watched any of these, which I find really hard to believe, I recommend Tangled for the music, also Frozen for the music, but also for a strong plot, Moana for the ocean and some chill vibes and a high lobster and Merida for some girl bossness and also she's Scottish so the way they talk is just 
super funny. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.